with Billy and Jack and today we're with Cancer Research UK and we're going to do a really super tasty mushroom ragu. We are, yeah, we're using some portobello mushrooms so they've got a lot of substance to them so yeah it's going to be nice, serving it with polenta, cream of polenta, it's going to be delicious I think. Sounds good. Let's go. First off, shallots. I am going to get the beef stock reducing because it takes a little bit of time but it's worth it, trust me. A little tip for you, if you see on a menu anywhere a reduction don't be put off by it, don't be scared. It literally is just boiled down. And when it reduces, it concentrates the flavour, and that's a reduction. Top tip. Simple as that. Mate, you, you almost sound like you know what you're doing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna finally chop these shallots. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up the mushrooms, and I'd say for this to keep the mushrooms quite chunky, probably sort of nearly a centimetre in thickness, so I think it'd be perfect. I'm gonna sweat these down now. I'd put them in, uh, which, yeah, I'll cook the mushrooms in this one. You go for that one. Just a touch of oil, not too much. Just enough so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan, basically. Okay, so one bay leaf and some thyme yep. into the stock there. Let's get some more flavour in it. So this could be, you know, if you're if you'd normally do a spaghetti bolognese, if that's like one of your classic dishes, you could very easily swap it and do something like this instead. So mushrooms in the pan. I think those shallots are ready for the are ready for the vinegar. So we're going to go in with some. Balsamic vinegar, which similar to the beef stock, we're going to reduce all the way down. Our beef stock is reducing and our shallots are reducing with the balsamic vinegar. We're going to add some red wine as well. All the alcohol is going to burn off this because we're going to reduce it. So really using this for flavour. And now we're going to reduce that again. That's going to take about 10 minutes. We're going to do some breadcrumbs for the top of our dish. I'm going to fold some herbs through that, so we're using uh, fresh flat leaf parsley and some thyme. So we're going to toast off the breadcrumbs in the pan that we've just fried the mushrooms in. Don't need any extra oil with this, we're just going to toast them off. Polenta, very simple. All you have to do is boil the water, add the polenta. So we're going to get the water boiling so we're ready. So we've got about 200 mils of water and that is to 50 grams of polenta which is roughly about enough for one one person for, for a decent sized meal. Uh, I believe the way they do in Italy is they run it through the fingers you get rid of any lumps and it goes in a nice smooth kind of action so we're just going to pour that in now and then you want to get whisking it and then it's going to thicken up really quickly. This polenta is now coming up and it's really thick sort of like porridge texture and that's kind of what you want you don't want it too thick too gloopy if it does go too thick you can always add a little bit of water so we're gonna put a bit of parmesan in the polenta and this just gives it a nice little cheesy flavor and now we've got to combine and make our sauce we have yeah so we're gonna remove the herbs now from the beef stock it smells amazing so we go in with the beef stock just to combine So we've got some thyme, we've got some parsley. Just going to chop these herbs really finely. And then we're going to combine them in with the breadcrumbs and they're going to go on top of our sauce. We're probably good to go on this, actually. All you do is stir in the mushrooms as it's still cooking a little bit down because you do want to still add the heat through the mushroom. These mushrooms are now heated through, so they're ready to go. So we've got everything ready to assemble. mushroom ragu and some crispy breadcrumbs. Spoon. Spoon. Going spoon, in with the spoon. Definitely go in with the spoon That's for this it. one. Right. Mm. The depth in that sauce is yeah, it's really worth that Beautiful. sort of extra effort in mm. the reduction. I think that's perfect. I think for a, for a midweek sort of autumnal dinner, you can't go far wrong with that. I think you should definitely try it out. Good job. Well done, mate. Yeah, you're good, good work. <laughs>